question came. Uh, excuse me, where is the church San Felice? Scusi, dove la chiesa San Felice? Excuse me, where is the tourist information office? Scusi, dove l'ufficio informazioni? Excuse me, is there a cafe nearby? Scusi, c'è un bar qui vicino? You have to take the first street on the left. Deve prendere la prima strada a sinistra. Or you have to take the second street on the right. Deve prendere la seconda strada a destra. The third street. La terza strada. The fourth street. La quarta strada. You have to cross the piazza. Deve attraversare la piazza. Perhaps it's the bridge. Deve attraversare il ponte. The street. Deve attraversare la strada. The park. Deve attraversare il parco. You have to turn left at a certain point. Uh, for example, you uh, have to turn left at the lights. Deve girare a sinistra al semaforo. Deve, uh, you need to turn right at the intersection. Deve girare a destra all'incrocio. You have to turn left after the cathedral. Deve girare a sinistra dopo il Duomo. You have to turn left after the museum. Deve gi girare a sinistra dopo il museo. It's there on the right. E lì? Sulla destra, it's there on the left. È lì sulla sinistra. It's there in front of the cathedral. È lì davanti al duomo. It's there next to the stadium. È lì accanto allo stadio. And this is where I need to explain a bit of grammar. We have done this before in um, meeting up with friends. Um, with davanti and accanto. Um, it's always followed by the preposition a, but what you then need to do is combine the preposition a with the article required by your noun. So if your noun is, for example, il, such as in this case il duomo, then the a combines with the il to form al. Um, if uh, your noun is um, stadio, so lo stadio, then your A combines with the LO to form ALLO. If, for example, your noun is, I don't know, LA CASA in front of the house, then your A combines with the LA to form ALLA. So be davanti alla casa. So this is the case for davanti a, accanto a, and also di fronte a, which is pretty much the same as davanti, so di fronte a, same thing happening. However, in our next example, we have dietro. Dietro means behind, and it doesn't require a preposition, so we don't need to worry about that um, um, at all. So um, it's there behind the cathedral, e lì dietro il duomo. It's there behind the stadium. È lì dietro lo stadio. So uh, one thing to remember whenever you're using davanti a and accanto a, remember that you're going to require a bit of thinking to choose the appropriate um, articulated preposition. So to combine the a with the article. I'll read through the vocabulario, saying the English first, so you can use it for practice as well. To cross attraversare, to turn, girare, to take, prendere, left, sinistra, right, destra, in front, davanti, next to, accanto, behind, dietro, the church, la chiesa, tourist information office.
ufficio informazioni cafe il bar the road la strada or la via the park il parco the bridge il ponte the cathedral il duomo the intersection l'incrocio the lights il semaforo the museum il museo the stadium lo stadio the footpath il marciapiede close vicino the fountain la fontana the shop il negozio pedestrian crossing le strisce pedonali